Hi, it's Mary Allen with IT in Canada, and I'm here at Dell World 2012 with Adriana Karabutis, who's Dell's VP and Global CIO. Adriana, thanks for taking the time to speak with us this afternoon. My pleasure to be here. Adriana, Dell has engaged in a lot of acquisitions over the last decade. Has this activity been driven by the need to fill market gaps or technology gaps? Well, Mary, as, as we transition from a hardware selling company to a company that it provides solutions end to end, obviously we've assessed you know, our portfolio and taken a look at what the best way is to enhance that portfolio in order to build that end to end solution selling uh, offerings, if you will. Um, and based on you know, how the industry is going, based on what CIOs and key, key customers want to solve and need to solve, it's driven what we've, what we've taken a look at and determined to be best for our portfolio and we've built that portfolio accordingly. Mm -hmm. And when Dell is deciding whether to buy or to build, what are some of the key considerations? Well, obviously, we take a look at whether we're going to organically grow or inorganic, inorganically grow based on, again, what's in our portfolio and what niche we're trying to fill. Um, we assess whether you know, it's a competence that we want to quickly acquire or can quickly build. And sometimes it's gone, we've, we've acquired companies, other times we've built inorganically, other times we've acquired and built on an existing you know, IP or set of portfolio that the products that the company came with. So it's very much a case-by-case -case basis within the technology stack. Mm -hmm. And as you make that transition from a hardware supply company to a solution provider, what do you see as Dell's primary technology advantage? So we continue to be very, very key and instrumental both in our end user computing environments. We've built a new software uh, organization with some great portfolio product in there. And we have very heavily invested in very much in an upper right quadrant, if you will, in our enterprise organization or our enterprise suite of products. So, you know, server storage network and user computing um, all continue to be very, very key for us in growing as well as solution, as well as uh, software, as I said before. And then again, services. So, you know, to pick one over the others would be um, probably neglecting all key primary areas that I think we're really excelling in. Mm -hmm. Another um, technology that's on everyone's mind and is very important to the entire community, IT community, is cloud. So I'm wondering if you've been able to leverage Dell Cloud in the business that you manage at Dell. Absolutely. So Mary, being the CIO of a tech company, I, you know, I, I tell people I have a great sandbox of toys from which to pick, especially this you know, recent, we, we've invested $5 billion over the last four or five years in developing a great end-to-end -end solutions uh, product offerings. And as the CIO, I've been able to leverage that, you know, that, that portfolio of product. Cloud in particular, I mean, we are um, doing, investing very heavily in private cloud for me to be able to support the company. Um, and following with Dell's mantra of really being an open source environment, we're actually incubating OpenStack as a cloud. Um, but within our data centers, I am you know, starting to leverage and continuing to use our converged infrastructure and you know, provisioning cloud, both infrastructure, platform, and we're also going into software as a service. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm heavily using our cloud offerings and helping incubate some. Mm -hmm. What about the future, Adriana? What's Dell's technology roadmap going to look like moving forward? Are there additional acquisition targets, or what do you see as the major development? So, Mary, I can tell you, Dell continues to be the entrepreneurial company that you know started back with Michael in the dorm room, and we will constantly be looking at organic growth, inorganic growth, and making our you know already very rich solutions portfolio even richer. Um, to say there's one over the other, all I can tell you is we're constantly looking and I think making great decisions for going forward. Uh, our services business is growing and we're going to continue to invest there. Our enterprise business is growing, we're going to continue to invest there. Our client business continues to be very, very strong. So watch this space. I think we're going to see some great things continue going forward. Okay, we sure will. Thanks so much for your insight, Adriana. I appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure, Mary.